Book Nine of the Epic of Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh is driven through the wilderness by grief for Enkidu and by fear of his own death, which now seems possible. He heads east, hoping to find Utnapishtim, the only man to whom the gods gave immortality, and the only man who can tell Gilgamesh how to escape death. Gilgamesh comes to the Twin Peaks, mountains whose tops touch heaven and whose roots descend to the underworld. The mountains lie under the sun's course across the sky and over a tunnel under the earth, the entrance to which is guarded by two scorpion people. Just the sight of these people can kill most men, but Gilgamesh overcomes his fear to speak to them. They recognize his semi-divinity and ask why he's risked the journey. He explains why he seeks Utnapishtim, his ancestor and last hope. The scorpion man says no mortal can pass the peaks and enter the tunnel. But Gilgamesh was so courageous to have come so far, a scorpion man explains the path through the pitch black tunnel. Gilgamesh must race through the darkness in 12 hours because once the sun enters the tunnel, its flames will incinerate anything inside. At dawn, Gilgamesh enters the tunnel and begins to run, counting the hours, unable to see anything. Fear begins to seize him in the eighth hour, and during the ninth hour, he feels a slight breeze. He emerges after just 12 hours, just as the blazing sun enters the tunnel at the other end. Gilgamesh emerges into the breathtaking, marvelous garden of the gods, where gems hang from the trees and vines. Earlier in the epic, Gilgamesh claims not to fear death. He's a warrior, bold and strong. Perhaps now, his love for Enkidu stripped him of the ability to laugh at death. Life without his friend is a living death, and the pain of loss is made worse by Gilgamesh's struggle with his own mortality. Gilgamesh wants to bring Enkidu back, but if he can't, he wants to avoid following Enkidu through the gates of the underworld. Book 9 takes Gilgamesh through his dark night of grief and into a literal passage through the underworld, from which he emerges into a world beyond death. The underworld passage often results in a rebirth for the hero, but Gilgamesh is not quite ready for the transformation. At this moment, grief still consumes him, and rage and frustration are just beneath it. 